Lynn. Let's finish this. The power manifesting itself here is overwhelming. If Paradox is going to make her move, it's going to have to be now. During the Hollow Knight. Are you going now, my lady? And in regards to that poor child, what was his name again? How are you going to deal with her? You plan on using him to suppress her? You mean Hyde? I feel kind of bad for him, but it's best it's just the two of us go. Granted, his insider would make tonight much easier, but if she gets her hands on it, we're all screwed. I agree that we should leave him behind. He has potential, but that's all he has. But I must protest against you going after Paradox alone, especially tonight. Who knows what she's plotting? You're right, but don't forget she has the Weaver of Eternity lurking in her shadow. Until we learn more, I'd be reluctant to send you off on your own as well. <laughs> I never thought I'd hear a little slip of a girl like you say that. Why don't I just charge in head first like usual and take Paradox down myself? Hmm, then again, you always butt into things. Why change now? Anyway, enough talk. Let's just do it like always. I'll draw everyone's attention, and then you can take out Paradox while her guard is down. Sorry for making you always do the dirty work. And I really do appreciate all the training you've given me. I doubt even Paradox could go toe to toe with me now. <laughs> if nothing else, you've learned how to talk big. Hyde, please don't go and do anything stupid. I'll take care of whatever happens tonight. It's still way too early for you to step foot into this place. Immortalize. Immortalize. Lynn. Mercava. What the? Trying to sneak up on me like that? Who in the hell are you? I will not stop. I cannot stop. You little brats. The desire. Something is compelling me to devour you. You are... <laughs> I guess living so damn long has its rewards. I never thought I'd see the day when nothingness spoke. Or are you just someone who fell victim to it? And did you just call me a little brat? Can't you see how much I've grown these past few years? As a woman? You ask if my flesh is that of a human. That is one thing I desire above all else. I know not from whence I came, nor who I am. My only memory is that of a screaming child. Why she cries out, or what causes her grief, is beyond me. I also cannot say why that is the only memory I possess. That is your only human memory? It seems your memories have been burned away, and only emptiness remains. And whether you were helping or harming that girl, I cannot guess. No matter, it's all just speculation. Regardless, I cannot let you live. You feast on the living as a beast of darkness. You will soon be nothing more than a blood stain on my blade. Of course you will show no hesitation in slaying a mere shadow. So my kind hunts humans. Why that is defined as evil, while the opposite is considered righteous, I do not comprehend. <laughs> you got me there. That which is not right is not always evil. Right now, it's just a question of survival. Whether it's justified or not, I'm going to kill you. Right here, and now, you wretched creature. If you believe that I prevailed here, then perhaps it was those of us known as Imberfs that are truly the evil monsters here. 
immortalize. Lin. Odia. Hmm. What a coincidence. Running into someone from Lit Christ here. Are you alone, little girl? What? How dare you call me a little girl? You're clearly much smaller than I am. I mean, you're way shorter. The fact you're so easily offended is what makes you a little girl. Here's a warning. I think I said enough to open your eyes. My information is spot on. Everything I've been told. You are Lin, Princess of the Nightblade. The Nightblade. A clan lost to time. You're but a miserable ghost. Doomed to constant rebirth. I'm impressed that you know so much about me. Not bad, child of Lit Christ. I guess fame does have its downside. Hold on. Did you just call me a miserable ghost? That kind of stings. Princess of a Nightblade, why are you here? Did you come to help guide your brother, Kuan the Eternal? Your answer will determine whether I'll be forced to apprehend you. Get your facts straight. I have no right to the name of Nightblade anymore. In fact, I probably want to so see them go down more than anyone. Impossible! You, of all people, wish for its end! I don't know what you're after. You might even be an ally of Paradox. Thus, as an executioner of Litkais, I now take you into custody! If you are just going to preach at me, could you at least listen to what I have to say first? <sighs> Whatever. To show you my concern for you, allow me to show you how to survive the Hollow Knight. Immortalize! Lin. Sir. Oh man, I only seem to run into people I was hoping to avoid. Like you, Seth. Princess. No. Rather, Lin. The reason why you are wandering around this hollow night. Don't tell me. You are hunting creatures of nothingness. So, who put you up to this? Was it Kuan? The blades I now wield. Surely you know what they represent. Uh, those are the sealed. <laughs> I see now. It's all clear to me now. To think you would reveal this much to me. Despite everything, you are still a hopelessly naive little boy. Well then, this simplifies matters. All I have to do now is to restrain you and then go after Paradox myself. I can't let you get anywhere near that woman, you see. Ah, uh, yes. I guess you have your own reason for walking the path you do. That being said, we must see who is right and who is wrong. If you wish to restrain me, you'll have to do it by force. That was my intent all along. Whether you're approved or not, also, do not underestimate me. I am no longer a child of as before. I'm afraid you are still very much a child. You are a little boy, bound by the shackles of law. But don't worry. I promise to break your chains and free you from your curse. Immortalize! Immortalize. Lin! Hilda! Welcome, my dear little princess of the Nightblade. Here lies the darkest depth of the Hollow Knight, where the altar of light and darkness awaits. <laughs> As if you actually believe any of that. This body that I've abandoned to the vagaries of time, seeing as I walked right into your web, you were obviously prepared for me. Well, you're mostly right. Regardless, you are a very important guest of mine. You see, you're going to grant me the ability to become immortal. 
So, tell me, are you really trying to become a rebirth? Why go through all this hassle then? If you did any research, you'll know neither me nor Kuan wanted this. I have no power over death. Hmm, perhaps. But becoming a rebirth is a start. I do have existence powers, you know. With your rules and morals, you're just in my way. I swear you have a stick up your ass, old woman. Amnesia will bring an end to both Leech Price and the Nightblade, and will teach all of the Inbirth a lesson they'll never forget. The old knight will die, and a new one will begin. But for that to happen, I need all of you out of my way. The Insulator, your brother, and then Neat Christ. I will crush them all, for both Amnesia and for myself. I do admire your delusions of grandeur. You are not the first fool to get drunk on your own power. Why do you think the Nightblade came to be? To bring order to the night. There were people like you in the Nightblade. Those who let their existence abilities go to their heads. A power struggle occurred, and in a single night, the Nightblade ceased to be. Sad. Huh. Paradox, you are no different. Either you destroy yourself, or I do it for you. It's time to face the justice I will now deliver. And do not be fooled. This blade is not as slight as it seems. Now, Hilda, the Wicked Witch of the Hollow Knight. It's time to meet your maker. Unless, of course, you have a final trick up your sleeve. If so, I recommend using it now. I should have expected as much from the Princess of the Nightblade. I'm done. And your existence abilities are pathetic. The experience that comes with immortality is something to behold. Eh? You think so? In your case, I think personality is more of a factor than experience. Your emotions betray you. And your attacks lack variety. It's like you wanted me to dodge them. While you kept waving your existence attacks around like a sword, I just had to set a few well-placed traps, and then sweep your legs. Honestly, I never faced an opponent who was so easy to beat. Well, should I keep going? I'm sure you'll love to hear more words of wisdom from this wizened old crone. Ugh! Enough! Talk, talk, talk! This is why I can't stand old farts like you. Just get it over with already. Deliver the final blow and destroy this vessel. Ah, that'll happen soon enough. Between us, there is no quarter asked for or given. Though, if in my position, that softy hide would probably spare you. Unfortunately for you, I'm not him. Farewell. I never thought some of your abilities would fall like this. You'll be a long time returning if I destroy the vessel. I pray that I never meet you again in this night. Paradox. A formidable opponent. Worthy to be the vessel of a rebirth. There was no way she became so on her own. There must be someone pulling strings behind the scene. The most likely person is the Weaver of Eternity. My own dear brother, Kuon. He can only be after one thing. The talisman buried deep within my flesh. The seal on me. It's not much different from a curse. If he understood the truth behind it, Disaster would ensue. I hate this body. Not even falling on my own sword would kill it. Will I ever be freed from this curse? An endless cycle of bodies. How many of these nights have I witnessed? I will finally put an end to it. This body will be my last. 
with the insulator and hide. Death will finally be possible. This is far from over. Thanks for enjoying the episode. Like and subscribe to stay tuned for more.